Hello and welcome to NC Tutorials. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a fixture. In our case, it will be a Kurt vise. And then place that fixture on the table of whatever machine that you have active in your project. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the machine that I have, a Haas VF5. And I'm going to eliminate the enclosure. So I'm going to go over to my visualization tab for machine visibility, right click on it, open up the machine nodes, and turn off the enclosure. That way we won't have to look at that. Next, I'm going to go to my model tab, and I'm going to import this IGES file that I downloaded for a Kurt Weiss. And you can see it shows up. It's a, embedded in the table a little bit. But we're going to use this model to create a vice that we can save for future projects. So now I'm going to go back to my machining tab and come down and click on the fixtures icon. I am going to click add a vice. And I'm going to use this little arrow to expand the vice. And you can see in a vice, you have a body and a jaw. We could add clamps or chucks, and they would have their respective pieces. But this particular vise would only have a body and a movable jaw. So first, we're going to create the body. So I'm going to click on Empty, Double Click. I'm going to select all the parts of this vise, and then I'm going to deselect the parts that would be the movable vise or the movable jaw rather. So I'm going to deselect 20, 19, 14, 10, and 8. That would constitute the movable jaw. And now I'm going to click Add. Once it generates, I'll click Close. And purple is not my favorite color, so let's change it to something a little bit more industrial looking, like this blue. Click OK. Now we're going to double click on empty and I'm going to add by holding down the control button level 8, 10, 14, 19, and 20. Add those. I'm going to click once on the color for that and change that to this green type color and click OK. Now I have created this vise as a fixture. But we have to establish which direction this movable jaw will move. So we need to go over to Jaw and double click and find the direction here. Double click that and change our Y to 0 inches and change our X to 6. So that should allow that jaw to move within six inches back or forth. Now what's left is to double click on the word vice. And I'm going to change the model item here to say Kurt vice. Click OK. And then I'm going to click save. And it is going to save as my Kurt Vice. Okay, so we have our fixture. But now if I move this fixture out of the way, we also have the model that we imported earlier. So we're going to go back to the Model tab, and we are going to erase that model. Now we can go back to the Machining tab, and you'll see that you have nothing active in here. There's some question marks because it doesn't know where the model went. We're just going to delete this one out. Come back over to Load. Click on Load. And put our Kurt Weiss back in. Now, once you have your vice on the table, if you see these different 
colored arrows and curves, you can pull the vise up. It should snap right to the table if you bring it down. We have this blue curve arrow that allow us to tw twist it. You can twist it with the green around the Y axis. You can twist it with the red around the X axis. Or with the blue around the Z axis. There's a new interesting feature called the glue tool. And we're going to use the glue tool to set our vise where we want it. So I'm going to tip this vise around the Y axis, and I'm going to come and grab my glue tool up here. Now, one way to use it would be to go to the surface here. I'm going to say, I want this surface. So I'm going to place that blue marker on that surface. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, I want that surface to be where this red surface is. So I'll click on that. And with the glue tool, the vise will come and sit exactly where I place those two marks. We can also use our glue tool in conjunction with two point center. So I want this point and this point to be selected. Then I have to pick which direction I want the surface to go in. So you can move it around like this, but I want the surface to go with this edge down. So that's where my blue tool goes. Now I'm going to pick my two points again and pick one point here and one point here and the direction there. Now I've got it almost lined up on the T-slot. Another tool that we can use with the glue tool is the three-point circle center. So I'm going to go over here and pick three points on this circle and the direction in which I want the surface to go. And then I'm going to click my three-point circle again and pick three points of the circle on this particular hole and choose this direction. And it'll put that other circle right down on top of that one. So there's quite a few different ways you can arrange your fixture by using this tool. You could even add an entire another fixture of the same. So if you're running two vices, you can go back to load, click on Kurt Vice again, and it will load an additional vice. And you can use the push and pull features and let it snap to the table. Just like that. And you could line it up using the glue tool so that they're both arranged across from each other correctly. So this has been how to create a fixture and put that fixture on your machine. I hope you enjoyed it. Look for other tutorials in the future. Thank you.